But we play Sporting Lisbon on Thursday, the second leg of the Europa League uh, round of 16 match uh, at the Emirates. Uh, the first leg ended in a 2-2. For me, kind of disappointing. Uh, the defending was kind of shoddy. We, even though we had a few rotations, I would say 60 to 70% rotation in that team. So on Thursday, I expect slight rotation. Uh, Kivio did not have the best of debut. I can understand because he didn't have... Playing with Zinchenko uh, requires a bit of skill because when Gabriel Magalhães plays with Zinchenko, he understands the position that he's playing as a central defender, the left-sided central defender, and playing as an auxiliary left-back. Kivio is new to the team. He has never played with Zinchenko. So you could tell that side of the defense was being exploited because of the gap that was left by Zinchenko. So this time, I'm not going to just rain it on Kivio that he had a terrible game, even though some of you won't point out the fact that he ducked at the first goal during the corner. I don't know why he ducked. Maybe he had a shot from Turner. We are not really sure. But for, I don't know why he would duck. So, yes, defensively, Kivio was not fantastic in the first leg. But this game, we need to bring our big guns. Um, For rotation... But this second leg, I want us to kill the game as quick as possible. We don't need to encourage Sporting Lisbon. Uh, we know they won three Israel uh, in Portugal uh, this weekend in their uh, domestic game. They are coming. Yeah, manager has been having a bit of uh, of a say, saying he believes he can go through. We need to kill that belief as quick as possible. I believe if we play our strongest team, we can kill the game in the first half and bring in uh, players to change the game or rotate and rest the players. See, we're not doing we're not doing traveling. So we are playing in London. We are playing on Thursday. The players can go home and resume training or recovery on, on, on Friday, have a bit of training on, on, on Saturday, and play against Crystal Palace. This is not us traveling and coming back. We are playing at home. So it doesn't... For me, there will be no need for us to worry about our players' recovery from traveling since you're playing at home. So we can play the first thing. I believe we need to go, go strong, Maybe one or two changes. Maybe uh, Rhys Nelson comes in for Saka, who has been a bit underwhelming for the last few games. Uh, Vieira comes in for Odega in the 10. Uh, that, that's, if you ask me, that's the changes I'll make. I think we should go with our... Maybe the goalkeeper too. Maybe Turner can come in, even though he was dodgy in the first leg, but Turner can still come in as the goalkeeper. I still trust his goalkeeper abilities. Uh, let's play our first choice defenders, Ben White, uh, Soliba, Gabriel, and Zinchenko for me. See, Kerentin can come in the second half after we kill the game in the first half. If we do that. So, it's not time for us over, 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 over sentiment of, oh, these players haven't played so much match. Let us bring them in. No. I believe we can win the Europa League and the league. So, why don't we give our best shot? Like I said, we are not doing it. We are not doing kind of travelling. So, they are playing in London. So, all the rest they need. We we'll get we we'll, we'll be gotten rather so let's be our first choice defensive uh, unit in the midfield. Let's bring in Pate and Jaka, uh, Vieira as the ten, Martinelli on the left wing, Trossard in the middle, and Riz Nelson on the right wing. I think that's good enough for us to do the damages. Then second half we can bring in the likes of uh, Kivio to see how the game, Carantini to see how the game. Smith to see how the game. Maybe Jesus can get 30 minutes. I believe Jesus will be on the bench for this one. I'd not expect him to start, even though it might be Chimbe to start. Uh, even though we saw him play 15 minutes at the weekend, I don't think we should rush him. Let us bet him in easily. He has been laid off for three months. He's a very sensitive knee injury. Let us be careful and let us manage Jesus properly. Uh, for Sporting League's one, uh, Cortez, one of their center defenders, will be suspended. I believe a midfielder too will be suspended according to the accumulation of yellow, of yellow card. But like I said, we need to be very careful about Sporting League's model. Portuguese team, the Portuguese team can be very dangerous. They will come and try and attack. They will try and nick a goal and play defensive. We need to make sure we don't encourage them. We need to make sure we don't give them any hope. Kill the game as quick as possible. We need to. I don't expect Ateta to overly rotate. I trust Ateta. He loves to. Keep his momentum going. So I'm believing the likes of uh the first team as the first level. I'm, I'm believing 90% of the first level will be playing tomorrow. There's no reason we shouldn't play those players. Let us kill the game and then we can coast through the second half. So if you ask me for predictions, I'm predicting a 3-0 win. I believe we'll be able to uh if we we'll play at our optimum level, we should be able to kill the game in the first half and consolidate in the second half. So I think we'll come and half and puff. They do not have the uh the support of their uh, they don't have their home support. Uh they don't have quality of players 
that we have, uh, even the, even their manager, I don't think is as good as our manager. Uh, we are playing at home. I think this should be a it won't be a smooth sailing. They'll give like I said, they'll huff and puff, but I think we have the superior quality to get this match done and dusted and put a 3 0 uh victory in favor of Arsenal. Let me know your prediction and let me know in the comment section your lineup. What will you pick? Will you overly rotate or will you go with a relatively strong first level? Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, let's not overly rotate this game. Let us kill it. It's a Thursday game. We are playing in London. There's no traveling involved. So there's no need to overrest players. Maybe one or two, like I said, Saka can, who has been underwhelming, can be rested. He can come in the second half and get a bit of his momentum back. We can play Riz Nelson for Saka. Then we can play Vieira, in my opinion, for Odega. The Odega being on the bench. So... Let us let us let us kill the game in the first in the first half, consider the second half, and enjoy the rest of the game. Like I said, let me know your prediction in the comment section and let me know the team you will pick uh against Sporting Lisbon. Like, share, subscribe. You are not like I said, if you are new, let me, let me let's take that back. If you are new, make sure you subscribe if you like the content. That's the condition. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stick a like on the video for the upgrading. Very, very important. And don't forget to turn the notification bells on. And I'll see you guys in the next one.